We're matching. Yeah. We didn't mean to. We've been doing that lately. Unintentional. Trevor's back. And our background's a bit different than what it was the last time they seen us. Much different. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's good to be home though. It is. So we wanted to do a sit down video and talk about our vacation because a lot of you guys had questions and all of that. He's <laughs> I'm a YouTube star. He's a YouTuber. Everyone loves seeing you in the videos. Um, but the first thing I wanted to mention is that we are COVID free. We didn't catch COVID on our vacation and it's been officially a week. So I feel like we would have got it by now. We would have. Yeah. Yeah. We've been testing every day because like he sees a lot of people in a day. I am around my parents a lot, the kids, all that kind of stuff. And um, we never, we never tested positive. We're I, clean. I thought for sure we would get it. Yeah. But we were safe. I feel like where we live, it Every, makes... everybody was safe. We were all good. We were safe. Yeah, there's maybe 0.5 percent of the population wearing masks or less. <laughs> all of the sanitizers in Vegas were empty. True. <laughs> I was like, poor Trevor was like, Jacqueline, you're okay. I'm like, it's empty, it's empty. Mm -hmm. Um, but like where we live, they really, they really grill it to us that we're gonna mm -hmm. catch COVID if we do anything like wrong. wrong. <laughs> If you travel, you will catch COVID. Yeah. <laughs> They're not so much like that now. It, no, but not as much now. We kind of were like, oh my gosh, because it's a whole other world there compared to where we are, like completely different. True. And uh, so anyways, we didn't catch COVID, so. But you actually had your fourth dose. Yeah, vaccine, yeah. His fourth vaccine of COVID because he falls into that category um, that can receive it. So he actually was two, you were two weeks with, four of those. with your fourth dose. So your two weeks after your first dose was like the day we landed in Vegas. Pretty well. So that yeah. was really good for you because you were probably at your like peak community. True. You know? <laughs> you're a bit more shy when you're not in Vegas. It's different. You're a little bit more shy. Yeah. It's so cute. Okay, so let's start with where we stayed. A lot of people asked where we stayed. I feel like I mentioned it a little bit in my vlogs, but I was so excited. I Maybe I didn't. I was just like, this is where we're staying. But mm. like maybe not said where we were. But we stayed at Planet Hollywood, which is mid-strip, right? Right in, right in the middle of the strip. Yeah. It's like mid-strip. It's like basically perfect location for if, you, if you're doing stuff on the strip. I really liked it. Yeah, I thought it was a good hotel. Perfect location to ski. Like I'd give it a 10 out of 10. But like yeah. I feel like I'd give it a 9 because like I just like the slots better at the other machines. At the other... Mm. At the other resorts. Yeah, it depends on what you're rating it. If you're rating it based on just the room, location, casino, overall, yeah, yeah 9 out of 10 is good. I'd give it a 9. Like, I, there was nothing yeah. wrong with it. Well, that no. I, so I'd give it a 10. Yeah. But uh, I just felt like the games weren't as fun there. We only had one game there that we really liked, The Walking Dead. Yeah, but you're more, you like the slots more than I do, so it didn't make a difference to me what slots were there. Yeah. So I figured if there's well, better they, slots, what well, were the table games like? Because there's some people here that might play like table games. Are um, they good? Or because I don't know anything about that. Vegas is different for table games. So let's say you like playing blackjack. Mm -hmm. To get blackjack where we live, you get paid three to two or one and a half times your money. In Vegas, it's six to five. So you put a twenty-five dollar bet to get blackjack, you get thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. If you put a twenty-five dollar bet where we play blackjack here you would get $37.50. So it's, you're giving up some playing blackjack on this trip. Some of the downtown casinos, Why? it just, they don't want to pay it as much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Or double deck blackjack there. You can't double on a, when you split cards, you can't double. So there's some rules that are not as advantageous. Is that at games. every resort or is that just at our resort? Any resort on the strip pretty well. Okay. Unless you're playing maybe in the high roller rooms or minimum bets $200. We ended up in the high roller room by mistake once. Yeah. Remember the one that was like the first night? Yeah. <laughs> we were like, why are we betting like $15 yeah. a spin? Yeah. We caught on quick because we were like, wait a minute. Um, but we were in the high... We're in the high roller. For the machines, yeah. Slot machines. We didn't realize that's where we were. So yeah. anyways, but so... You were mentioning in one of our other videos that Planet Hollywood doesn't have a poker room. Yeah, and there's no poker room where we're staying. So, if you so like, I feel like that hindered you. Yeah, it did. But I wasn't going there with the purpose of playing poker. If I was going there and wanted to play poker a lot, I wouldn't stay at Planet Hollywood. He, because you're not, even though there's poker rooms five minutes, ten minutes walk, Yeah. you still like to have your main thing you're going for to be in your hotel. 
Yeah. So with no poker room, that's a deter for me to stay there again. Mm -hmm. But like someone like me, like for you, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you went to Vegas before. Yeah. Strictly to play poker. Yeah. And where did you stay? Um, say one night at Flamingo, mm -hmm. and a few nights at the Rio, which wouldn't stay there now. It's not going to be around much longer. Mm -hmm. And three nights at Harris, which is kind of like dead center of the strip too. So convenience. The biggest convenience is it's center strip. And you're right next to Miracle Model Shops. That but was a huge perk for where we stayed. So you get cheap food. Mm -hmm. You have cheap meals if you want compared to if you stayed at a fancier. Like we had five ninety nine breakfasts. Yeah, you're not going to find it anywhere else usually. And drinks like three for $10 cocktails. And you get grocery stores close by that you can pick up quick snacks or drinks. A huge tip yeah. would be if you're staying at Planet Hollywood especially... Your Planet Hollywood is literally attached to the Miracle Mile Mall. So you don't even have to go outside to get into it. So in that mall, they have an ABC store, yeah. which sells water, which sells, it sells liquor. liquor yeah. um, they sell Treats grocery type yeah. stuff. They sell souvenirs. This, you guys probably know, ABC is probably like an American store. Probably. We don't have it. So it's yeah. like, it's like a drugstore kind of without the yeah. drugs. <laughs> Without the prescriptions. It's <laughs> yeah. Convenience it's store. a convenience store. And um, we didn't know that that was there, did we? No, no. We thought we, we, thought were, we were going to have to walk to like a Walgreens, which is still close, but you'd be walking in like 44 degree weather or with, a, or CVS. with water because yeah. we yeah. both drink a lot of water. Yeah. And so that it was just so convenient to have that right in the mall, which was attached to our resort. Yeah. The ABC store, I highly recommend. I think you pay like a dollar more at the ABC store than you it's would at nothing. Walgreens. Yeah. For a case of like 12 waters or whatever it was that we were getting. Yeah. And we just went every like two or three days and bought like a case of water. And the good thing about Planet Hollywood also is that they have a fridge. Yeah, they have a mini fridge. A lot of resorts in Vegas do not have mini fridges in their room. And if they do, they're filled with liquor. That you pay. That even if you touch them, like if you lift it, there it's weighed. And you get charged. Even if you just take it out of the fridge, yeah, you charge. Like our for room it. never even had a mini bar. We didn't have anything in our room, like, like water. There wasn't even it wasn't even an option for a mini no. bar. Which Which was it, good for, it's good for us, but some people don't. some people might want that convenience. Who? That if Who they, buys from that? That's so expensive. Well, anyway, maybe, maybe. Some of them might like it, it, it's convenient that it's there if yeah. they want it. But for us, we just wanted the fridge, which is great that we put our own our own liquor or our own water in it. Which yeah, is Yeah, and cake. <laughs> we bought a lot of cake. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Carlos Bakery cake is so good. If you guys run into one of those vending machines, you have to try it. It's so good. The rainbow is the best, eh? They're good. We really like yeah. the rainbow one. It's so good. Um, so yeah, we really like Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood is very much a party zone. Yeah, it's more of a party because mm -hmm. it, it's because it's like I said, it's middle strip. Mm -hmm. It's on affordable. So I think it's affordable. It was affordable, in yeah. In a good location, you're going to get more of the people that want a party too. So there was a lot of weed. Yeah, it's a lot of There was a lot of... Um, but where we were staying in a room, we never... Know. We were never allowed. You can't allowed. tell in your room. You can't tell in your room. But as soon as you walk outside of Planet Hollywood, yeah. it's... we, And that's the only resort that I noticed that. Yeah. Like, but I never... I guess for a place that's more of like a party resort in a way, mm -hmm. I never noticed being overly loud. No. Like, no. Like, it's just it's just a lot of like... Um, uh... I don't know, like a lot of music, like the pool always had music and stuff. It yeah. never bothered us one bit. No, no. But it's, we didn't see a lot of kids in our resort. We've seen a no. few, like at the casino running around. Yeah. I wouldn't bring my kids to Vegas I personally. Would never. Personally, I would not. It was such a great vacation, but I would never take my kids. I just feel like I would just wouldn't enjoy myself with my kids with me because it's like, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot, but some people do. True. And we've seen a few kids, and we did have one kid friendly pool at Planet Hollywood, and then there was another 21 and over pool. Yeah, they had two options. But, yeah. yeah, so that's a review on Planet Hollywood. I guess it, that's it the was, only other down part, I'd say, is the pool overall. Because the pool, you had two pools. So yeah. if you didn't buy a lounger, you had to put your clothes in a lounge that wasn't close to your pool so you couldn't see your stuff. Mm. But if you're just like us, we're just putting a towel down, yeah. and we're going to a pool, it doesn't bother us. But if you had to take possessions and stuff, you know, or a wallet or... They had free chairs, but they were out of your view. Yeah. When you're in the pool. If you wanted a chair that was in your view, you had to pay for it. It was like $30 a chair. 
that was close mm. to the pool. So we didn't, we didn't, we didn't pay for that. No, we, we were like, it's just a towel. Yeah. And like, I didn't even bring my phone the second time we went down. Yeah. The first time I didn't know that we wouldn't be, so I like hit it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that would be one of the dog. The pool was a kind of a hindrance in that way that you couldn't take stuff down with you. Yeah. Because we had a size. But the DJ at the pool was so fun. Yeah, yeah. I and, really like that. And that was so fun. And it's free. It's not like you have to pay to go yeah. to a DJ party at a pool. At the resort, you would have to Yeah, pay. Our, our pool party was free, which is, I guess, a perk. Because, yeah. like you were saying, the other what, what, what resort is it that has a pool party that you have to pay for? Well, I think for? MGM Grand, MGM had, like, Wet Republic, which you pay to go to, like, a pool party. Yeah. And I think from but, a lot of them have that, too. So. Well, I highly recommend it, like... It's a lot of fun. Vegas pool yeah. parties. That like it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and you, you, we had so much fun. Yeah. And it was Father's Day, the day we went. To, yeah, I was like, this is a Father's Day pool party. Trevor's like, I don't think it is. <laughs> it just uh, happened to lie in on Father's Day. Oh like, my yeah. gosh! So, um, we took some Ubers. Yeah, like we're newbies with the Uber thing because we don't have Uber where we live. Yeah. Um, we used it in Miami when we went to Miami. We really liked it. The first time we used it, yeah. We downloaded the app again for Vegas. Yeah. And one of the cars that picked us up was a Tesla. Yeah. And it's the first time either of us were in a Tesla. And it showed up. <laughs> and we did not open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get out of the Tesla. They had to get in the Tesla. I did you see me trying to open the door? No. And he was like, pushed a button and, oh, and yeah. it flies open. And we were like, oh my gosh. But oh my, Ubers are legit, like, so convenient. Very. Highly convenient. recommend, like, especially if you're local. You guys know we don't have Uber here. So, like, if you're going to Vegas, get the Uber app. Especially for, yeah. It, it's a lifesaver. Like, we're, we're going to a place we're not used to. So... We have no idea how long it's going to take to drive somewhere. So if I, mm. I can't pick this up, they might take us on a big detour and charge us a lot based on mm. meter. Uber, you know, you know your prices before you get in. You can pick what it's vehicle like 10, you want. 10 bucks to the airport. Yeah, like our, on our way down from the airport to our resort was 24 25 American. Yeah. And then on our way back was 10 or $12. Yeah, because so, they take a different route or something. Yeah, so a cab, I remember doing a years ago with a cab and that was probably seven or eight years ago it was like forty dollars from the airport so i'm guessing that cab's got to be at least fifty dollars yeah. now so it's almost double and, and, and the uber drivers gave us a lot of good advice yeah they're very like, they're very talkative because they're they're working for a tip too and but they are very informed if you have any questions they're like you ask them. tour guides they'll tell you anything yeah the first few were really good in that way and one guy was even like okay you're kind of going into an area that's a bit unsafe i'm gonna mm. make sure you guys get dropped off yeah. in a safe location and we were like well, you were. <laughs> Trevor was fine. But I was like, yeah. what does he mean? <laughs> what does he mean it's not safe? <laughs> yeah. Easy. The little island girl going to the big city. Like, what are you talking about? This is not safe. Or just simple advice. Like, um, if you're calling an Uber, yeah. don't go out front of the hotel. That's of the strip. An Uber uh, cannot pick you up on the strip. Yeah. You gotta it's go, illegal. You got to go to the back part. So just simple yeah. advice. They, like have, they have actual Uber locations. Most of the resorts have Uber pickups, pickups. which are like in the parking and garage. And there's signs everywhere for that. Yeah. But I would have thought you would order an Uber right on the yeah. strip. I wouldn't have known that you yeah. can't do that. Yeah. So true. he Like they tell you all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we really like the Uber. The food. What did you think of food? Overall, it was good. Mm. Yeah. Food. Our best food was Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, definitely our best meal was there. It's most oh, expensive, but it's also it the best. It was a lot of money. But it's also the best. We went because we watched the show, so we... It was a lot of money. Like, but, like, yeah. I don't know if I... Like, I feel like it's good to experience it once. Yeah, I wouldn't go back or something. I would, but... Yeah, yeah, that's you. That's me. <laughs> I but like spending money. I, yeah, like, like I wouldn't I spend that kind of money on food normally. Just as we watched the show, so we thought we can. And, and we, like, FaceTimed the kids and everything while we were there, yeah. and it was, like... It was really exciting, and it was the thing mm. like we were the most excited to do. Well, I definitely yeah. me. Um, so it was definitely worth it, but it was a lot of money, and you need to book quite far in advance. Yeah, we booked, we booked like two months in advance, and we could only get lunch. Yeah, we couldn't get a uh, supper. Yeah, we, we booked only got two lunch months menu. in advance. Yeah. So highly recommend if you're going to Vegas and you want to go to Hell's Kitchen to book in advance, and you can just do it all online. It's really simple. And I'm guessing that's for any popular restaurant. If you want to go to Vegas, probably book ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And if you don't go, you don't go. You're not charged. Just book ahead of time. I think you're charged. Or a very small fee. Oh. It wouldn't be the... I the fee of a meal. Yeah, no, it's, it's $50. Is it? Oh, yeah. oh I didn't I know I think that. I remember reading that. Oh. 
I don't know. Maybe that was a show. Maybe don't take her advice on this one. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, cancel if you're not going to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the Gordon Ramsay burger was my other favorite. Yeah. And Hell's Kitchen. And then there was that place in our resort in Planet Hollywood that we found the last day. Well, just the cafe Planet Hollywood. It's just their, their oh. own restaurant in the resort. Yeah, it's in the it, casino. It, it's a very big menu. Lots of options. Very good. Crazy milkshakes that like look yeah. like... Uh, they're like dessert. It's, I don't know. That was a really nice and cafe. You, we we found it the last day. Then you have probably anywhere from five, ten restaurants in Miracle Mall. Like the food options at our hotel, resort, close by. Endless, endless. endless. And very like all price ranges. And just away from resort, you still had your Chipotle. You had in and out Burgers close by. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. In-N-Out's not close to Planet no. Hollywood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, yeah. Yeah. There's a Nacho Daddy that's close by. Yeah. Buy. There's a lot of options, we'll say. There's a lot of options for food around the location we were at. Um, so the shows we went to, yeah. um, if you're going to Vegas, I highly recommend you go see Carrot Top eat. Well, that was the highlight of my trip. I think yeah. he was one of my like top three favorite things that we did. Yeah, by far, the three shows we've seen, Carrot Top was the best. He plays at the Luxor. Luxor. Yeah, and we booked that. You can tell that he's been doing it a while because it felt like you're at a Vegas show. Yeah, yeah. He was so good and he was so funny and his show was sold out. Like, he, yeah. the thing was packed. Yeah, it's full and it's reasonably priced. I forget the price of tickets now, but yeah. it's not crazy price and it's kind of like what we enjoy. We like comedy, rather comedy or magic shows. So that And I feel like we don't like clean humor. Yeah, we like like, little... like we like offensive humor. Yeah, we don't mind that, yeah. Um, whereas the other comedy show we went to was a very squeaky clean. It wasn't it wasn't. It's, well, yeah. the were the most they were the the Brad Garrett comedy club yeah. was a lot of like weed weed jokes. <laughs> And we are not like weed smokers. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, like, we were like, ah, uh, like, the other show talking we went about to, being stoned is not funny to me. So, the other show was Brad Garrett, Comedy yeah. Club. We went to, and there's three comedians. And we found. I didn't like it. We found the first comedian the of first the show was the really best. Good. And yeah. for some reason, we found the headliner and the middle one not as good. Just. And it, and they might have been hilarious for other people. For our sense of humor, we didn't find Did it. Did you notice people laughing? Some. Really? Well, so I didn't because I was so like first person in front of us okay, got canceled. Okay, this is the thing. I even used we, cancel. She got canceled. We, you're, <laughs> you're, <laughs> that's true. You, she, got, she got canceled. There's this girl <laughs> that was sitting in front of us at the comedy club, and she was so in it. She was like, she's laughing, ah, her head like on. laughing, like one of those people that laugh so loud. Yeah, and then showed a few words. But she there. wasn't shouting out yeah. comments. Like he was talking about how weed is better for you than alcohol yeah and she was like yes yes like yeah. that's all she was saying that's all she was saying she was agreeing right. with him yeah and the security came no. over and told her to be quiet and he's like you're too loud and she's like are you serious like we're yeah. at a comedy club yeah like she wasn't heckling yeah nothing she was just like yes like agreeing with him she's like that's yes right. yeah and then she was like laughing really really loud but yeah. she was not and by any means like disturbing anybody no and that's the other part i didn't like that comedy club was that was one reason it was security was really strict in a way which they shouldn't be they and, were so strict they were like and, staring at like and they were looking around for people to just make sure they weren't saying anything and then and they're telling you i'd be quiet the whole time and that then you're while the main person's doing his jokes, they come to your table, clock doing your bills when you're trying to pay attention to the comedy show. Yeah, like which I to, I really didn't like that part because it's your bar, You had to pay your bar tab before the show. Before the show was over, so like you're trying to listen to the thing, but like the girls at your thing with like with I don't know. with the, you're trying to pay attention, pay your bill in the dark, but you still want to listen. And you have to, to the like jokes. turn your phone light on, and then the security guards like, "What are you doing?" And you're like, "I you, just paid my bill." Yeah, and it's just it's just weird. And that the drinks way. were twenty dollars, and they were. Yeah. It was. I do not recommend that. I don't know. Maybe I, we uh, hit a bad night, but it yeah. was not a good experience. Like the whole and the whole atmosphere, everything was terrible. Yeah, I was disappointed with that mm. one uh, of the show. I, mean, I thought we were going to really enjoy the. It, it was, was it was a ball. complete waste, really. Yeah, I, I didn't like anything. I didn't like it, but. Eh. To each their own. People might like it, but for us, no. not our cup of tea. No. <laughs> and then we seen... <laughs> yeah, and then we, since we stayed another day, we decided to book a show. That's the thing. We booked an extra day. Yeah, we booked one extra day. Because we, we missed half a day. Yeah. So we booked a show at the Rio, which we really wanted to do Penn & Teller, but they were gone for the month we were there. Mm -hmm. So there's a replacement magic act called Michael Carbono. 
I think it's something like that. Mm -hmm. And I went there and... He's supposed to be the next big magician in Vegas. Yeah, I was... They had billboards everywhere of him. They had... Yeah, so... They hyped him up good. And I think it's at the Rio, too. So you got to take an Uber to get there and Uber get back. Because it's not on the strip where we can walk most places. It was far, yeah. So you got an Uber. It's probably $20 Uber there, $20 Uber back. And... The show if was the, expensive. It, the show was probably around like $100, $100 a piece. $100 and, each. And... American. It just wasn't that it good. It was so bad. I'm trying to think of a nice way to say it. It just wasn't good. It was good. like you're watching a child do magic. And remember I told you before the show, though? I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be good. It wasn't it, sold out. Because I looked around, and there's lots of seats available. I'm like, this is not a good sign in Vegas if the show's not even close to sold out. It's just like a magic Cause, show. Because we booked the tickets the day before, even. So mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, we got tickets. And I could pick any seat. I had a lot of options. I'm like, this is odd. Probably not. I have a bad feeling that all these seats are available the day before the show. It was, it was really, um... It I, just wasn't good. Like, you mainly only had three... Three tricks that were not, by any means, like, blow you out of your seat. Like, it was like, oh, cool. No, it wasn't like, oh... Like, it, oh was, it wasn't like, oh, my God, how did you do that? Oh, cool, her card was in his pocket. Yeah, no, but <laughs> like, was, every magician does that. But it wasn't a trick like, oh, my God, I really wish I knew how you did that. There wasn't one of those magic tricks, even. That I'm like, oh, I wish I knew how you did that trick. No. No, we were, and when it was over, I was like, is that, was that it? And I was like looking around to see if anyone else was like thinking the same. Cause and I, I like, think it was the feeling because it made, but then he showed it was the end. And then everybody's like, wow, that's it. I don't know. Don't, I don't recommend that one. So, yeah, so <laughs> we went one for three on our shows in Vegas. Carrot Top, you guys, so good. Mm -hmm. He was worth like, he is, but yeah, he, like, oh, if so we had to rate good. them, I'd put Carrot Top at 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I put the comedy club three out of ten. I even put the magic show at one. Same. I even put the comedy club above the the magic show just because it's on the strip, mm -hmm. and at least the first act was a good comedian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to talk about Fremont Street? Yeah. What do you think of that? Uh, that? That's where we were going when the Uber said, "I'm going to drop you off in a safe location because I guess." Going to Vegas, uh, Fremont was going to be my one I look forward to the most, and oh. it, and it didn't and it didn't disappoint because a lot of people talk about it being. A different vibe, a nice break from the strip, which mm -hmm. is different. Which is also known as Old Vegas, right? Yeah. Fremont Street, yeah. otherwise known as like Old Vegas. I'm yeah. Call it that. That's where Vegas started. Like, yeah. It's all the old casinos. And our Uber driver, we had yeah. full intention of going. Yeah. But our Uber driver picking us up from the airport was like, you guys, you got to go to Fremont Street. Yeah. Don't just stay on the strip. Like my biggest advice to you would be go yeah. to Fremont Street. You'll have so much fun. So. Yeah. So we went there. We got yeah. there around probably seven in the evening and mm -hmm. stayed till about We got midnight. Duncan and I loved it so much. Yeah. I was so about the Duncan. Poor Trevor. He was looking everywhere for Duncan for me every morning. Oh my God. Just to get her out, her mindset off that Duncan Donuts. I, <laughs> I like, loved it so much, you guys. Duncan is so You don't good. understand when you have a wife that has food, certain food items on her mind. I thought you were going to say food addiction. <laughs> food I was going to say hit you up the side. <laughs> food items on her mind. It's hard to take. <laughs> that's all she's thinking about till she has it done. I couldn't stop it. it was, that's where yeah. I had my Duncan was on Fremont Street and it was so good. Okay, yeah. anyways. <laughs> yeah, in Fremont, it's like everybody says, it is. It's you got a lot of different characters. Like, you have a wide range of different people mm -hmm. that are tourists walking over, and then also street performers mm -hmm. and people, locals. locals, and people want to get pictures doing street acts. But the street acts weren't like I hoped it was. I thought you might get some good, like even like uh, some magicians on the. But they were playing theater bands too. But just the street performers, I just thought weren't that good. They were fair. They were fair. It wasn't. It's like put money in, we'll move. Yeah, type like, of acts. like put it, it like weird. put money in, and I'll show you what I can do. And it's like, and then you put money in, and he, he moved one and arm. he just does like this, and you got to put more mm. money in, and he'll do something else. Yeah, and so. it's like okay, but um, the bands were really good. The someone in my comments asked what the band mm. was, but it was three different cover bands. It's three different cover bands. Yeah. I don't know their names, but they were really good. Parts of the. Fremont Street. And so, they're all playing different genres of music. Yeah, like the one that was so playing cool. like 70s, 80s, and yeah. the other was playing 90s and 2000s, and then the other one was playing more like even rap and some current music. Yeah. So it had, and we like all that type we of music. We just bounced anyways. from like one Because we like all, we all, we like all different types of music, so we just go with different bands all the time. They were in three different locations on the street. And they were playing so. for a good three or four hours from when yeah. we were there. It was so much. They were really, really good yeah, and, and it's just like a, it's a street party we're going to. It's a big giant street party is what yeah. it is, and it's beautiful. There's lights everywhere. There's the old casinos, mm -hmm. like the original casinos. From and the zip line going above. The zip line, yeah. It's very, it's very, I, if I wasn't wearing a dress, I would consider. 
No, I wasn't even thinking of it. You wouldn't do it? No, no. I don't like You wouldn't do stuff. a zip line? No, I wouldn't Have enjoy it. Have you ever done a zip line? No, not really, no. Want to do one on the cruise? No. You won't do one on the cruise? No. I'll do one with mom on the cruise. Yeah. Me and mom are going to go zip lining across the ship. Sounds like fun. Or maybe some of our nephews will zip line They with probably me. will, yeah. <laughs> We're going on a cruise with all his family. Yeah. And, um... We have some teenage nephews. Maybe they'll go on the zip line with me. Yeah, you might luck out. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Anyway. But I th overall, <laughs> that would be my highlight of the trip was Fremont Street. I thought of the nights that we did stuff, that was the most that was entertaining. That so fun. That was yeah. so much fun. Um, we've seen the old casinos we went in. They're yeah. so smoky. Yeah, it's very smoke filled. That's the around. one thing I'm like, okay, where we live, like, you cannot smoke anywhere. Like, yeah. literally, you're not even allowed to smoke outside. <laughs> you can smoke outside. You gotta be but like, you gotta be like 50, 20 feet away from you the have entrance. To be 20, even. like, yeah, 20 feet away from any entrance of yeah. any building where we live. And it's just, we don't see it anymore. Like, we did, we actually yeah. thought people don't smoke. We did, didn't we? Oh, we know they smoke. No, we but we, you said that you don't think that people smoke anymore like people our age no we, we, like, we're, not, we're not we're not older around people it. smoke yeah. but yeah. here where we live you don't yeah. see it yeah we're just not around it and yeah. the fact that there was literally people of every age smoking i was yeah. like this is bizarre especially in public places here you can't smoke in public places so well, well they, they can't smoke in like the mall or, or in the restaurant no but the casino is a public place yeah and in it's, it's smoke filled right yeah 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 so. it was a lot of smoke especially fremont street it was a lot of smoke inside yeah but um it, they were crowded yeah it's busy it was, it's very busy it's very very busy because fremont street the casinos there are cheaper to stay so people and, oh, okay. and some of them don't have resort fees so where we say it's playing in hollywood which most resorts on the strip is it's 50 dollars a night Resort fees. Resort fees. So, like, one of the nights, our room was only $22, yeah. but we had to pay, like, a $50 resort Plus fee. Plus tax. So, yeah. something that's $20 American will turn into close to $100 American after resort fees and taxes. Yeah. So, but in certain hotels, I think there's a couple on the Fremont Street that you don't pay resort fee at all. So, whatever the stated price is, that's what your price is. Yeah. So, but, some people stay there, right? Yeah. But almost every resort on the Strip, except for maybe one, you have to pay that 40 or $50 resort fee. It's just, I don't know why they don't just include in the price, because I guess you'll see a price, oh, it's $30 to stay at Planet Hollywood, let's go there. And then you get the $50 on top, mm. then the taxes. It adds up, but if it's still yeah. under $100 a night, it's still, still under $100 good. a night, it's still, a good deal. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about the incident that happened that night? Well, I guess we left around midnight, Fremont Street. The vibe changed. Yeah, it, <laughs> very quickly. as the night goes on, it gets more crowded and people are very drinking drunk, longer. Very, very drunk. And there's pushing and we, shoving. We've seen a, two women fight over a drumstick. Yeah. The, the drummer threw a drumstick into the crowd and they just... The two girls wanted like to get it. Like grown women and they're like And then one throws a drink at another person, so one throws a drink at the other. It mm -hmm. just, and you can, and the, there is a lot of security and police around. Don't get me wrong. There, there is. is a lot walking there, up and down Fremont Street. Yeah, because they broke it up fast. Trying to keep things safe. Yeah. So we left her. So we decided it was around midnight and it was getting a little rowdier. Plus, we didn't know what time the bands were done. So we thought if the bands get done, it'd be a mad rush for Uber. For it'd be Ubers, a big, big yeah. lineup. So we and thought. And we were there like four or five hours at that point. We were kind of good at that yeah. point. So we, we left. And then the next day, next morning, I think I was looking on my, my Facebook feed and I found this article about. Shoot it on Fremont Street, and it was at two in the morning, close to where we would have been hanging out at, too. We were actually in that exact spot. We were there spot. at one point, yeah. Because there's yeah. videos of it online. Yeah, yeah. Was, and it was very scary, if you surreal, when you realize, oh, I was just two hours away from where there's a shooting at. I will tell you, if I was there, like, it wasn't like, um, I'm not even sure if we'll talk about this on YouTube, but like, it wasn't like a mass thing, no. it was very targeted. Is a fight. Um, it's basically a fight between a fight that broke out in a hotel, in a casino. In a casino, and it got into the street, and the, there was yeah. three guys beating up on one guy basically, and then his friend came to help out, and the guys beating up on one guy went after the friend, and one of them shot him and killed him, and an innocent bystander. An innocent bystander got shot too, but not never got killed. Mm. So it's scary when you think of something like that when you're you take your own security in the mind and safety and and honestly yeah. i didn't even cross my mind that anyone would even have guns there 
Yeah. Like that's scary. Like the when you told me about it, I yeah. I, I instantly was like, I want to go home. Yeah, I was like, so yeah. just turned off. I was like, I just want to go home. I and and, and it's not anymore. a knock against Fremont Street at no, all. No, no. This could happen like, anywhere, but the fact that it did happen, we were there. It yeah, makes it a little more surreal. Yeah, I guess, so. and and uh, honestly, if I was there when that happened, like even if I. Because in the video, like you can hear, it was multiple gunshots. It was like yeah. boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Like if I was there and even just heard that, like I think it would traumatize me for life. I'm. I honestly think if I heard that, I wouldn't know it was even gunshot. I thought it'd be part of a show or part of something. I wouldn't even clue in it was gunshots. I don't think. Oh. I don't know if I would just because I think it, maybe when you're in vacation mode, you're just thinking maybe, you're yeah. hearing something. Maybe unless you're close by. Mm. I've heard a few bang sounds. I wouldn't know if that was. Maybe it's fireworks. Maybe it's something yeah. fire. You don't know. Or you don't think gunshots. It was, and then after I was like, I really wish I didn't tell you. <laughs> yeah. But I would have found out. Yeah. Because yeah. it was everywhere. On the news stations. On everywhere. the news. Every restaurant we went into, the video was playing. Indeed, over and over. Over and over. Like on repeat. Like it, like every single place that was playing the TV yeah. had it on. It was all over the news. Yeah. yeah. Because I guess it's like never happens there. It's like a high tourist area. Well, it, it does happen is the problem. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, like, it does. It happen. never <laughs> happens. No, so. it, it, it does. And that's why they're trying to clean up that part of it. That it's, That's why there's more security <gasps> that's there. That's why the Uber driver said I'm, it might be unsafe. Yeah, like, it, not saying that happens oh. a lot, but there is incidents, and that's why... I'm glad I didn't know. There's a lot of police officers and a lot of security there for yeah. that reason, try to make sure it doesn't happen. And that's why Dad was like, you, like, my dad, <laughs> like, before I went, he was like, Jacqueline, I swear to God, like, do not leave Trevor's side. Because like, yeah. I'm so, like ignorant and naive uh -huh. to a lot of like the world outside of You're this island yeah. i don't know how to navigate in the city like i'm just very green yeah like true. i know that yeah because so i just anyway but it was a fun night we had a good time <laughs> yeah. that's we all were very lucky we weren't there to experience anything crazy yeah. um or scary we yeah. we were home safe and sound and yeah we didn't find out about it until the next day, and then it was like all over the news, and we were like, we were shooken up about it, even though we weren't like actually. No, it still hits hits you anyways. But. Yeah. Um, okay, though. A, a tip or a tip? I have a tip for you. <laughs> you guys know I like my iced coffee. Uh, pretty much all of the resorts have a Starbucks, right? Every resort almost. They yeah. have Starbucks, but. The Starbucks on resort is like eight or nine dollars for a medium or whatever you guys grande. Are, grande iced coffee. Eight or it was like eight eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine for a grande caramel iced coffee, cold brew or whatever. I don't know. Why. Yeah. I don't remember what I got. I think I just got iced coffee. Yeah, it's just iced coffee. Eight ninety nine <laughs> American. Yeah. That's like twelve bucks Canadian. Yeah, for a coffee. That's for crazy. a coffee. What, who but if you get stuff? Starbucks off the property, it's, it's like, like $5. $5 it's still expensive, but it's Starbucks. But Starbucks it's it, yeah. normal Starbucks pricing. $5 normal. So if you're staying, like say if you're staying at the Aria, yeah. they have a Starbucks right in the Aria. Do not go to that one. Go to the one that's literally still attached to or but, Aria. But, but not in the hotel. But it's not in the hotel. It's right outside the hotel. It's yeah. $5.99 and there's no line. Yeah. It's that's where we went because yeah. it was so like we were like I'm not like even I knew it was like I'm not paying nine dollars for, for a coffee. Starbucks like we did though once before we yeah, knew. yeah so that's a little tip for you is buy your Starbucks off your resort um something I wanted to mention was that that we noticed was that we didn't have an appetite yeah and I'm like that here too like if I'm really <laughs> no yeah. no if, 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 if it's really hot you don't feel like eating much yeah he's rather we a snack. Did eat. like you guys seen we ate yeah but we were never hungry we didn't feel like we have to go eat I never mm -hmm. had that feeling mm -mm. like we were never yeah. like, we just had no appetite and it, I think it was the heat a lot has to do with the heat mm -hmm. because I find even home if you're really hot you don't have a huge appetite you want something to eat or you feel like you should eat, mm -hmm. but you don't need a big meal. That was very much us. Like, there yeah. were some days we ate once a day. Yeah. Because we were one, just... One normal meal. Like, they would tell us kitchen, we just had it one meal. And then we'd get, like, cake in the evening. <laughs> uh, you would, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Earl's sandwich was really good. I forgot to mention that. That was, like, one of my favorites. Yeah, that's really key. That's right in our resort, too. I really like... Yeah, that's in Planet Hollywood. It's yeah, so good. So good. You yeah. guys already know that. You guys probably have all had it. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so I wanted to talk about the high roller. Yes. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. I it's, thought I thought it was a good deal. It's the world's largest observation wheel, 
and yeah. I highly recommend it. It was, again, one of my favorite things that we did. Yeah, because it costs $25 each, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a 30-minute ride mm -hmm. going in one of these pods, like a Ferris wheel, but mm -hmm. it's a pod. Yeah. We got the one without the alcohol. You have a bar one, which costs you an extra $30. And it's like and open unlimited bar. Drink. You drink as much as you can in 30 minutes if you want. But you're only there for 30 minutes, so like... Yeah, so... You have to, like, be power drinking. If you, if you want it as your... Pr pre going out drinking that night yeah. it might not be a bad idea we went during the day because i really wanted to get pictures and like see the mountains because we don't have mountains yeah where we live um i've never seen a mountain in my life until vegas yeah. uh it was my first mountain yeah. <laughs> even when we were flying in remember the girl yeah. shut the window and yeah. i was trying i was like i just really want to see these mountains because yeah. and i was like anyway um i really wanted to see it in the day because i never get to see that and uh I got great pictures, but then someone mentioned to us that if you go at night, it's actually really hard to get pictures because of the glare. Yeah. Because you're, you're, yeah. And I think it's more expensive at night, too. Is it? Yeah, I think between... It would be beautiful at night, though, just the, for the lights. lights. But yeah. I, yeah, I think if we ever went back, yeah. I would do it at night just to say... Not for the pictures, just for the... For to the, do it and see. Yeah. Yeah. And by the, at daytime, you can see even other parts of Vegas. You can see yeah. all the, which you wouldn't see at nighttime. Yeah. Much. Yeah. Yeah. So the high roller was definitely, definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, you can't bring luggage on it. No. <laughs> there was a couple there that just flew in and they were like doing luggage. the touristy thing before they could check in. And they bought tickets for the high roller and went to go on it and they still had their luggage and they weren't yeah. allowed on it, which... I'm not sure why. It was probably a security thing or something. It must be a liability. Because before you go up, yeah. you get completely um, scanned and your purse checked and everything. Yeah. But they should have a spot where you can have a drop, luggage drop off and you sign a waiver or something. That yeah. No one's going to touch your luggage. So they had, they were like trying to sell their tickets and they wanted us to buy them. And I, I trusted them. I knew yeah. that they actually were in a pickle, yeah. but it's like... Plus it, plus you can't really trust anybody though. Like everyone's like... They seem so innocent, and then they then they get you. Like, yeah, like, you get fifty bucks, and you're like, what? <laughs> well, this is our third day in, basically. So we already had that mindset: is people try to hustle you every time, which yeah. is a lot which in I Vegas. Mean, you gotta respect the hustle. Everyone's yeah. out there trying to make. They're money. trying, to, and I don't mind. You want to make money, but, but nothing that's free. your but that's your mentality. When people come up to you, oh, we got we got this good deal. Okay, you, there's a catch. Yeah. So you think this guy's trying to sell you tickets? It looks legit, and I could probably just tell it. And you can tell, like, she was in tears. Like, she was <laughs> like, we just spent, like, 50 bucks on this ticket. We can't go up. But, yeah, no, but eventually I think they would have sold it to somebody because yeah. they just had to go near the entrance yeah. and walk with them to the entrance, and yeah. you would have got fine. Yeah. But, yeah, that was our thing. I have notes here, so I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, would you go again? I would go again, but not do what we did. I would do something oh. different. <laughs> No, we already did all the sights and scenes that I wanted to do as no, a vacation. Yeah. For yeah. me, if I went again, I would just go because I want to play poker. You, that's you want to go without me? Yes. Really? Yeah. Because yeah, 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 he wants. Everyone loves poker. He's really yeah. good at poker. He is. I'd rather go just for poker just because if she came with me and I want to play poker, then I feel like I have to spend more time with her and <laughs> it, it'd be a, a tug of war. This yeah. trip, I, I literally played... You went into this knowing it was a vacation, not not poker trip. This is how much I played poker. I went one session from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. while you're sleeping. Yeah. And another one from midnight till 6 in the morning. <gasps> when? <laughs> when was that one? Second last night or something. Yeah. Oh. See, so I, I got a few, a little sleeping. bit of poker in, so... Yeah, you got a little bit of poker in. And for the, any, in case anyone's here plays poker or like yeah. knows anything about poker, tell them who you've seen. Oh, well, the, the, I'm so excited for him. He's not even excited. I'm like, well, when we were at the World Series of Poker, it was going on at the same time at Paris and Bally's, which is mm -hmm. right next to where we're staying. So you'd see a lot of uh, popular poker players there because they're all playing at the World Series of Poker. So we've seen a guy I watch a lot of the vlog. He is Daniel Negron, which is a poker. Is popular. he the millionaire? Well, he's on that show you watch. Yeah, he was a millionaire <laughs> matchmaker. That's, what you, that's how you know him from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun. But yeah, so you see some of the famous people playing poker that you used to watch. Trevor got his so. picture. It was so uh, cute. Not cute. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not cute. No, it's not cute. It's not cute, guys. It's, it's not cute. <laughs> <laughs> for you because i know that you watch him yeah. and for me like for trevor it's just like oh it's a guy I watch oh yeah. that's cool like whatever for me if i would have seen like a youtuber that i watch because mm. i don't really watch tv so for me like youtubers are like yeah. my celebrities right. like if i would have seen like colleen ballinger when she was there like a couple days before us yeah i would be like 
so excited. Very. And I would be telling everybody. <laughs> I'd get her picture. And I, you know, but I didn't see anyone famous. Someone asked me that in the comments. Did I see anyone famous? I didn't see anybody famous. The only real, well, besides, well, that's a poker player. The only other famous one I've seen was Neymar. It's a really famous soccer player. He was playing the poker game where I was playing poker. Also, a different game, though. Obviously, he, he has a little more money than I do. So, he's playing in a higher stakes game. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But well, that's, that's you've seen, yeah. you seen, like, two people that you knew, like, to recognize. No, oh, yeah. No, you don't see people you recognize in the gambling world. Yeah. I didn't see a soul. But I wouldn't know a celebrity if they came out in front of me, truthfully. But it, I would know, like, YouTubers, and I didn't see anybody. I've seen yeah. a lot of people vlogging, though, which is cool because I, we don't, you don't see that here. Yeah. Like, like I'm, like, the only one. <laughs> no, I think there's, there's a few people probably. But, like, I feel like if I vlog in public, it's very noticeable here. Yeah. But there, every other person is vlogging, which was really cool for me to see. Did you notice a lot of vloggers? Yeah, a yeah. lot. See, you, I don't, you wouldn't I, notice I don't pick up on yeah. them a lot. Yeah. Like, very noticeable, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed it a lot, and I thought it was really cool, and it was, like, refreshing, because I don't see that here at all. But. <clears throat> I have a question for your viewers. <gasps> okay. Okay. We're not, we don't go to Vegas, so anybody who goes to Vegas regularly, is there something that happened in Vegas why we don't notice anything with Elvis? Yeah. We're in Vegas. I've never seen an impersonator. Where did Elvis go? Not one impersonator. Yeah. And in the gift shops, literally no Elvis merchandise. It's like he doesn't exist. Like I thought he was shunned. Mr. Vegas. I thought he was Vegas. There's no Vegas. There's no Elvis shows. No. We looked at every show because yeah. we were looking for shows for, to go for, to the last day. Yeah, yeah. We went to every. We looked at every show. We. My friend Sherry, you guys know Sherry, her boyfriend Mike loves Elvis. I wanted to find something Elvis yeah. for him. My sister loves Elvis. And I'm like, how cool is it that I could bring Mike and my sister home something Elvis from Vegas? And there was not one. So if thing. anybody can tell us not what happened. Not even a magnet. What, nothing. What happened with Elvis? He used to be all Vegas. He's not on the street. The, you have people dressed up like Spider-Man, but there's no one dressed like Elvis. Yeah. It's weird. So we were wondering, like... Like, why? Like, where did he go? Or maybe yeah. he was off. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. No, impersonators. You always have impersonators of Elvis. That's what you grew up watching TV. Elvis impersonators. I know, all the time. I know. But, but not this. I we never seen one. Not even one. And no, nothing in gift shops. So, something happened with Elvis, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know we why missed, we didn't see him. Unless Vegas We didn't get the full Vegas experience without Elvis. Maybe El maybe Vegas is trying to get rid of all the gimmicky things, and maybe Elvis is one of the gimmicks they wanted to get rid of. I don't know. They're making changes. They they're definitely got rid of them from what I've seen, but I'd go again. Yeah, yeah. I'd go again. I'd stay at the Cosmo. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's so classy. It's so glittery. It's so it has balconies. Like every room has a balcony. Yeah, that, that's yeah. That's the thing. Like, almost every resort there don't have balconies. The only a couple that I noticed that had balconies, Cosmo was one. Yeah, and it's oh, it was so pretty. I really liked it. I really really liked it. it was so bright and just I don't know, like sophisticated, and I loved it. You think it's more high end? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But I I feel like Planet Hollywood has the best rooms for the money. You best you best for your bang for your yeah. pocket. You want to be central. So overall, for well, me, Cosmo Central too. That's what I'm saying. Any resort that's central and you get a decent price. You can always walk places. You don't have to stay in your room. The room's a room. You're going to be exploring a lot, but you do want to play. But you, you take can... breaks. You need breaks. Yeah, because we took a lot. We took like two breaks a day. Yeah, you need breaks. We're like a half an hour just to take our shoes off. Especially you're walking all day and it's hot. Even take it hot just to walk all day, your feet get tired. Mm. You don't. It's your feet. I had, a, I had yeah. a question about what we um if we wore sneakers or sandals because you know how that's like a big thing everyone's yeah. like wear sneakers wear sneakers i did not wear sneakers i bought new sneakers yeah. and everything and didn't wear them yeah i don't know why you bought sneakers for but well, anyway. i bought i bought two pairs i didn't show you the other pair um so i just wore my sandals because it was so hot and for me like wearing sneakers and socks is like like kind of torturous for me yeah, i just and, and don't I, like it and and I, my, my feet were actually really fine in my sandals, so I didn't wear my sneakers. And I'm the same. I don't like, when it's hot out, I just like wearing sandals. But mm -hmm. So the first three days I wore sandals, and then my feet were getting tired, sore. 
Yeah, yours were, yeah. Yeah, so anytime we were going on any walk now, I'll, I'll put sneakers and socks on. But if we're going to a show that night, I'll just put sandals and on. And I was like, I bet you wish you got in walking shape with me. And he's like, it's not about being in walking <laughs> it's, it's shape. It's the feet. Because <laughs> <laughs> my feet actually were really good. And I'm really glad I did yeah. that. Because I've been walking every like every single day for like two months straight. Yeah, no, for me it's just my... It helped a lot. Because I, I was not one bit tired, was I? No, and I wasn't tired from the walking. It's just my feet were sore. <laughs> They literally would get sore. Mm -hmm. And I found it was better with sneakers and socks after. But, but, to each their own. Yeah. And if you're in Canada, maybe reconsider traveling right now. <laughs> I'm just well, joking. It's not even Canada. It's any travel. Is it everywhere? It's or everywhere. I thought it was just Canada. No, it's not just Canada. Okay. It's everywhere. It's just the night. The airports are a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. We're lucky that we flew out midweek and we returned midweek. Mm hmm. We're hearing horror stories at airports, and it's not the airports so much as the airlines mm. with delays and cancellations. We were seeing every weekend. It could we be... we flew Air Canada, but it was it wasn't just Air Canada. It no. was WestJet. Like they all were yeah. canceling, delaying. It's all airlines. Everyone was stranded in the airport. Yeah, and... like we found the airports no problem. No, it, like going it, through security it, and customs. Secu no problem. We, we went through Toronto both times from when we get off the plane to our next gate. In between 20 and 30 minutes, both times, with never a... That's from, like, our airplane seat to, like, the gate. Yeah. It was, it's, at your gate. Like, that's unheard of. It's never once we had a line. Never. We but were the always issue, the But the issue you have is your airlines delaying flights, cancellations, so rebooking. We missed a half a day of our first day because of delays and stuff. So that's why we booked an extra day. Yeah. And we also booked an extra, extra day. So we the day we left, we actually yeah. flew out on the red eye. Yeah. We booked an extra night because it was only $22 for that because it was Monday. Yeah. And we booked it so we could have it right till we left so we could, like, relax and just, Yeah, like, you have a spot. that You don't have to... Even be, though we weren't technically, like, staying overnight, we yeah. booked it for that night so we had, like, a place. Just to relax if you wanted to. Instead of being stuck wandering for 12 hours for your flights, basically. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that is everything I wanted to talk about. Yeah, if anybody has any direct questions, you can always ask below. Oh but my god, you're Don't so forget cute. to give a thumbs up. You're so cute. Um, and ring the bell. Is that what it's called? Yeah, uh, I, you know bell. what? I've never asked them. Uh, Do you think I should? Yeah, they gotta ring bells. Okay. <laughs> Start ringing the bell. Can you guys please subscribe if you haven't subscribed? The, the more subscriptions you get, the more rings, the more I might appear. <gasps> really? Do you. Trevor, like, if you guys watch me, because you guys, he never in my videos. No. But you. I, thank you for, like, being. Like,. You were not one bit like, ugh, like don't vlog. You've never been like that. No. But I'm, I feel like I'm good for not sticking the camera in your face. Yeah. And this trip, you were like, like poking in. Like you wanted to come in. You wanted to end with me. So thank you. That, that meant a lot to me because like, I'm just used to like not showing you. But the fact that you wanted to was really cool. Yeah. Because I figured I got to make some guest appearances. <laughs> I really liked it. So thank you. And for doing this video, because you guys know, you guys never see him, so yeah. So maybe you'll see him on in Florida. Yeah, I'd, maybe I'd, some camping vlogs. You'll see him around. Yeah, not so much everyday vlogs. I'm more. <laughs> uh, it costs me a lot to come in these. Yeah, yeah he's she, expensive. Uh, I'm expensive, so yeah. only special. You guys times. will probably see him around in some camping vlogs. You know, he's mm -hmm. usually tinkering around. But um, Florida is our next trip. Yeah. So I'm sure he'll be. In the vlogs more there. Probably. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and following us along on this uh, series of traveling to Vegas. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.